Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to Kenny's Movie Palace for a... I got a couple things from eBay, and I got a lot from whatnot. So I'll get out the um, eBay stuff right now. I got this. I've been wanting this uh, for a while, and then yesterday I seen it's coming out on Blu-ray 4K. But I got this for $5, and it's the... Uh, I think he calls it the Mexican Trilogy. It's El Mariachi, Desperado, and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. So I got this for $5 on the eBay, which is a great deal. And then uh, I see my buddy Sean Movie Assault pick this up, and he got this from Hamilton Book. So I was just, I was going to um, put it in my cart and, you know, see what it goes. So then I was on the eBay, I was looking for the El Mariachi, and I, just type this in just for the heck of it. And I got this cheaper than what Sean paid for it on Hamilton Book. I know he wanted to kill himself for that. But I got the Hulk um, series and then two movies. So it's, uh, and it was sealed. I started watching it yesterday. So uh, it's over 70 hours of Hulk and it has the two movies, and then it has the series. That The series is what I wanted. So, I'm really excited about this. I, like I said, I watched um, I watched Disc 1 yesterday. So, took me back to my childhood. Friday nights making Elio's Pizza and C&C Cola, or Triple Cola. So, uh, yeah, that was a fun one. Now, all these are from Whatnot. These are from two different sellers. Uh, the first one is from uh, my buddy, Mr. and Mrs. Alf, Alfster Cards. I'll put the link below. And I got uh, three titles. I got uh, The Contractor with uh, Chris Pine. Dune Part 2 on 4K. And then... I had the, I had the, um, I was going to get the 4K one, but I decided, nah, I'll get this one because it, it comes with chopsticks. I thought, I thought it would look cool on one of my shelves. And this is, uh, Kung Fu Panda 4, and it comes with the chopsticks. And I'll show you guys the chopsticks. So, here's the chopsticks. And then it has, uh... Kung Fu, Kung, Kung Fu Panda. I was going to say Kung Fu. Kung Fu Panda 2. Uh, 4 on the back. So I thought that was really cool. And then of course it comes with the movie. So I thought that was a little cool. A little, little gimmicky thing. But I, I thought it looked really cool. So got them. Now, all the rest are from another whatnot guy, and his name is We, S we Sell Resell 212 and then four zeros. His name's Slim. But um, all these were two for a dollar. Either two for a dollar or three for a dollar. I think they were uh, two for a dollar that day. Anyway, I got them like really cheap. They, they were like at least 50 cents a piece. So, um, I got a whole bunch of ones that I've never seen before, or these weren't even on, these weren't on like Tubi or anything like that. So, uh, I just picked it, picked, picked these, um, Rest Stop Dead Ahead, the unrated version. I remember watching this on TV and I really liked it and I never had a copy. I love Westerns, uh, Tom Selleck, Monty Walsh. This is a lot of uh, heavy westerns. I think uh, the person that he got these from w was an older man um, that liked westerns. Um, so there's a whole mix mosh of uh, good stuff in here. One that I have to watch again. I remember watching this and I didn't really care for it, but I, I'm older now, so maybe I'll understand it more. And that's Broken Flowers with uh, it's a Jim Jermush. Jer Jermush. I want to sing the uh, the Queen song, Bohemian Rhapsody. Got a moosh, got a moosh. So that's Broken Flowers. Uh, I love both of these actors, so this is a revisit for me. I love Julianne Moore, but I, Pierce Brosnan's cool. 
I like his movies, as you can see, because I pick up every Pierce Brosnan one I can find. Donovan's Reef. I remember watching this when I was a kid. This is a revisit. Texas Rangers. It's one that um, it has uh, Dawson, Dawson, Dylan, uh, Dermont, um, Ashton Kutcher, Rachel Lee Cook. I like her. And the Ushers in this, too. So, pick that one up. This one, I, I, I'm a big fan of Thomas Jane. So I picked this one up, Larry Fishburne. It was getting good. It got good. Um, I think IMDb had it at a 6.5 standoff. I'm a big fan of Thomas Jane. So I picked that one up. Also a big fan of Mel Gibson. Not the person, the actor. So I picked up Edge of Darkness. Um, if you see, it's, I, it's on Tubi, um, Revelation Road. Uh, I, I recommend that one. That's a, that's a really good one. Alright. Next one up. Eight Below. I remember seeing this when it came out. I haven't seen it in years. I figured I'd pick that one up for my Disney collection. Another one that I, I watched when it came out. I think this was on USA Network. Broken Trail. It was in two parts. And it's uh, also two discs, too. I just looked this up on IMDb, and um, I just I hadn't seen this, but look at the cast. I'm not a big fan of uh, Ryan Phillippe, but Amy Cornish. Uh, but I love um, uh, Tommy from Third, uh, Third Rock from the Sun. I think he's a really good actor. Um, Stop Loss. Next one, I remember seeing this when it came out. I haven't seen it in years. Looking forward to revisiting this one. The greatest uh, game ever played. I remember, I only paid 50 cents or less. I can't remember if it was three for a dollar or two for a dollar. Can't remember. Uh, this one, I just took because uh, of the cast. Separate Lies. It has Rupert Everett, um, Emily Watson, and Tom Wilkinson. So I figured I'd try that one. This one, I went to the movies and watched it. And this was uh, the time I think they said Stallone and her had an affair during the uh, making of this one, The Specialist. I remember it. It was, so, it was stupid fun. It was one of those popcorn movies that you used to get during the summer uh, um, back in the 90s. You know, 80s and 90s, they had, like, so many good, stupid, fun movies uh, for summer. So this was one of them, Specialist. I uh, never heard of this one before, but this the, the cast sounded interesting on this one. And it's the the great big one. And this has part of it. Uh, Lee Marvin, Mark Hamill, Robert Carradine, Kelly Ward. I looked it up. I like war movies, so i never seen this. So I figured I'd pick that one up. Next one, this is another Stallone one that I had rented, and I love Madeline Stowe. Um, Avenging Angelo. I don't, I, I don't know if I've seen this one or not. Uh, this one I definitely never even heard of before, and I looked it up on IMDb, and this is the Molly Maguires. Anything with Sean Connery, I will watch. Another, uh, War Movie, Catch-22, and... It's a Mike Nichols movie, and uh, Martin Balsam, Richard Benjamin, Art Garfunkel, Buck Henry, and Alan Arkin are in this. I have no idea. I looked it up. The trailer looked good, and, you know, hey, for 50 cents, you know. The Siege, I remember renting this one. This was a good one. You know, people get this confused with um, The Negotiator, because... Don't hold me to this, but I think they came out this, about the same time with the negotiator with Sam Jackson and Spacey. But uh, anything with Bruce Willis, I watched and uh, looking forward to checking that one out again. This one I never heard of before. Did you guys ever hear of this Sean Connery movie, The Terrorists? 
I have no idea. A lot of the stuff he had was like stuff that I've never heard of. And when you're on his show, I'm like looking up IMDb and stuff and look, trying to watch the trailer. So uh, this one I watched years ago and I'm looking forward to checking this one out again. Uh, Cheap Detective with Peter Falk. I remember this being on um, um, HBO when this came out. And it's got a huge cast. Anne Margaret, Eileen Brennan, Sid Caesar, Stocker Channing, Jimmy Coco, Dom DeLuise. Uh, I'm in for anything Dom DeLuise. So basically all of like uh, Neil Simon's friends uh, <laughs> joined in to make a movie. So that's basically what that one is. Uh, next one, uh, this was a huge, when I was, um, this was in the early 90s, and I remember this being a huge rental favorite when I worked at the video store. The little girls loved this. Cutting Edge, this was a really good movie. This, the sequel sucked, but this one was really good, and I think every kid had a, a crush on Maura Kelly. Whatever happened to Maura Kelly? But, yeah, Cutting Edge, I want to revisit that. She was smoking hot. Um, next one, this, i seen the first one many times. i never seen, I didn't even know they came out with a Wild Things too. And then I looked it up, I think there's six different Wild Things now. I only seen the first one, so i never seen this. So I figured, oh, what the heck, I'll try it. I don't even know who the hell's in it. Susan Ward. Isaiah Washington, he's the guy from um, Grey's Anatomy that got fired. And my last three, Thin Red Line. I remember watching this when it came out. I think this was nominated for an Oscar when it came out. Has Sean Penn, uh, Nick Nolte, uh, George Clooney, and uh, Woody Harrelson. I think this, yeah, 70, yeah, 70, <laughs> duh. Seven Academy Award nominations. Next one up, I seen this in the movies. And then um, I used to rent this a lot. And this was hard to find. And couldn't believe he had it. Rising Sun with Sean Connery. There you go. There's my Sean Connery. There you go. So, uh, looking forward to checking that one out again. And the last one... I see, this is another one. I used to go to the movies like every weekend in the 80s and 90s. And this one, I was in love with uh, Sean Young. And this is No Way Out. This is a really good thriller with Gene Hackman. This was when Costner was at his peak. But man, Sean Young, man, look at Sean Young. Man, she was smoking hot. This was 1987. I remember I went, uh, this came out, I believe, in May. And uh, it was the year I graduated high school. And uh, a bunch of our friends, we went to uh, like three different movies that night. And uh, one of them was this one. That's when movies used to play for a, a little bit in theaters. Not like today where they're going in a month and then they're on streaming or you know video so but that's it so uh yeah that's all my whatnot picks i just want to share them with everybody uh i got them in yesterday so uh, i've been watching a ton of movies i have a whole crap load of movies on my shelf that i will be reviewing for you guys and uh miranda i'll put uh miranda's channel in there she had a very interesting thing my uh her favorite top 25 summer movies so I did my list, so I think next week I'm going to do my list of top 25. I hope this gains a little traction because it's a really cool idea. And um, as as you were young, when you were younger, you, there was movies that you watched, not directly that came out during the summer. Most of them came out during the summer, but they're the ones that you liked, your favorites that you would pop in. Say it rained that day and you couldn't go out and play ball. Or you couldn't go swimming and you were stuck in the house and you just popped in the VCR tape. So, yeah, I'll leave a link to Miranda um, Miranda's channel below and uh, so you can check hers out. Believe me, hers is going to be totally different from mine because I'm older. 
So, um, but that's what makes the, this, these challenges fun because you can find new things to watch. So, um, that's it. Everybody have a great day. The Phillies are on at one o'clock today. Uh, they're playing from London. So go Phils. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm up to 180 subscribers now. Round of applause. So, uh, yeah, thanks for everybody watching. I read all the comments. I answer all the comments. So, uh, Please feel free to share with what uh, if you like my pickups and stuff. So uh, thanks, guys. Have a great Saturday. I'll check you guys out next week. Bye-bye now.